Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install eFootball 2024 game from Microsoft Store on your Windows computer. So if you are unable to install it from Microsoft Store, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to log out and log in with correct account on Microsoft Store. Now for this, on the top right over here, you can see your profile icon, click on it, then click on sign out, now click on sign in and then select the right account make sure that you select the right account over here and then click on continue it will be asking for your pin or password so enter the pin or password over here and once logged in now you can try to install in my case this is already installed so there is no install button so i have already installed the game it's already installed so now you can try to install it still you are unable to install in that case make sure date time time zone and reason is correct when you can be reason. so on the bottom right over here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time then click on adjust date and time and make sure set time set time zone and set time automatically both are on so if this is off turn it off so make sure both set time zone automatically and set time automatically both are on and then click on sync now sync now is important so click on sync now now if the sync is not done you have you can click it multiple times and once you see the tick mark now go to language and region and then make sure you have your country selected over here make sure right country is selected over here now now you can try to install still you are unable to install the next step is to go to microsoft store library and then try to install it from there so on the bottom left on microsoft store here you can see library click on library and over here now you can go to apps no go to library i'm sorry go to library now in library find the game in the list so you might find the game in the list so scroll down and check for the game now in my case this is already installed so i don't see the game over here now if you see the game in front of it if you see install option or update option you can install it from library in library you might see the game so in front of it if you see install or update option you can try to install it from library in my case this is already installed so i don't see it now still you are unable to install next step is to run this power cell command now this command is provided in the video description so copy this command and then type in power cell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows power cell windows power cell and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open windows power cell as an administrator now paste the command over here hit the enter key now this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color like this so if you see any errors in red color just ignore it and let the process complete once this process is complete restart your computer and after the system restart you can try to install the game now still you are unable to install the game Next step is to delete Microsoft Store local cache file. Now for this, go to this location. So open File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive. Now open Users folder and then open your username folder. Now open App Data folder. Now if you don't see App Data over here on the top, click on View and then select Show and then put a check on Hidden Items. You should be able to see App Data. If you have Windows 10, somewhere over here you will find the view option. Click on view and then somewhere over here you will find hidden option box. Put a check on the box and then you should be able to see app data. Open app data folder. Now open the local folder. Now open the packages folder. Now scroll down and find Microsoft Windows Store folder. So Microsoft Windows Store. Here you can see. Microsoft Windows Store underscore some alphanumeric character. So open this folder and here you can see local cache folder. Make a right click on local cache and then click on delete. Once that is deleted, now open Microsoft Store and then try to install eFootball 2024. Now still you are unable to install it. Next step is to repair or reset Microsoft Store. Now to repair or reset, you can type in store in Windows search box and then make a right click on Microsoft Store and then click on app settings and then scroll down here you can see the repair option click on repair and after the repair open microsoft store and then try to install the game if that does not work click on reset reset and after the reset you can open microsoft store and then try to install eFootball 2024 
now still you are unable to install in that case the next step is to update store from store library so again open microsoft store and then click on microsoft store over here now once microsoft store is open on the bottom left you will see library option so click on library over here and then click on get updates click on get updates once all the updates are complete so this process will take some time so click on click on get updates and once all the updates are done now you can restart your computer after that you can try to reinstall the game next step is to install xbox identity provider and gaming services now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see xbox identity provider click on get in store app and it will prompt you to open microsoft store so click on open microsoft store now if xbox identity provider is not installed you will see install button over here in my case this is already installed so that's why there is no button if you don't see any button you don't have to do anything that means it is already installed now if you see install option then you can install it now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services so copy the first command this command is provided in the video description now type in powershell once again in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator always open powershell as an administrator and then paste the command over here hit the enter key this will uninstall gaming services from your computer now once this is done now copy the second command and on the same window you can paste this second command hit the enter key this will open microsoft store and you will see install option to install gaming services so click on install click on yes to allow and let the download complete now once this download is complete now you can try to install the game once again now the next step is to start all these services so type in services in window search box and then click on services and then find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find xbox services at the end here you can see xbox services make a double click on each xbox services set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok again set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now again make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on start and then click on ok again make a double click set it to automatic and then click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok and then find windows update make a double click on windows update set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find gaming services make sure gaming services are running over here if not running make a right click then click on start if it's already running in that case you can make a right click and then click on stop and then again make a right click click on stop and then restart the service make a right click and then click on start again make a right click then click on start now find microsoft store install service make a double click over here and then set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now open microsoft store and then try to install the game next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart the computer and then install the game now the next step is to run ws reset command so type in ws reset in windows search box and then click on ws reset you will see a black screen for a moment and then it will open microsoft store now you can try to install the game now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall microsoft store so copy the first command and then again type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator open as administrator click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here hit the enter key now once this is done restart the computer make sure that you restart the computer after this and after the system restart again open powershell run it as administrator and then click on yes to allow run the second command and then paste it over here hit the enter key this will 
reinstall Microsoft Store on your computer and then you can open store and then you can install the game. Now the next step is to try installing the game to C drive. Now for this open Windows settings, go to system and then go to storage and then in Windows 10 when you scroll down you will see change where new content is saved and you have to click on that. Now in Windows 11 um, you have to go to advanced storage settings and then you will find where new content is saved. Click on it. Now if you are trying to install the game on C drive you can select any other drive and then click on apply and then now you can try to install the game. If you are trying to install the game on another drive then in that case you can select C drive then click on apply. So try to change the drive. Try to install the game to different drive. And it, it, first of all you are trying to install the game on other drive you can select C drive apply. If you are trying to install the game on C drive if it's not installing you can select D drive, E drive, F drive whichever drive you have apply and then open Microsoft Store and then you can try to install the game. The next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command. So type in inet cpl.cpl in Windows search box and then click on inet cpl.cpl. Go to the advanced tab and then scroll down. Over here you can see use TLS 1.0, use TLS 1.1, use TLS 1.2, use TLS 1.3. Make sure all four are checked over here and then click on apply, click on OK. Now open Microsoft Store. You have to restart Microsoft Store and then try to install the game. Now the next step is to update Windows to the latest version using Media Creation Tool. So if nothing is working, you can update your Windows using Media Creation Tool. If you have Windows 10, copy this link. If you have Windows 11, copy this link. Windows 10 users, go to this website. Here you can see Media Creation Tool. Click on download tool now and then run this exe file. Then you will see the screen. Click on accept. By default, upgrade this PC now would be selected. Click on next. It will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take some time. Now once the download is complete, before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install and once the installation is complete, log into your computer. Now for Windows 11 users, go to this website. Here also you will find media creation tool. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 11 media creation tool. Now click on accept. By default Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file then click on next. You can save the location. You can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here. Now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop. Find Windows ISO file. Make a double click on Windows ISO file. Then run the setup file, make a double click on setup file. Click on yes to allow. This will load Windows 11 now. And here you can see install Windows 11, click on next. It will check for update, then click on accept. Again, it will check for update. Now before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer. Now still you are unable to install it. Then the last step is to install it from Steam. So for Steam, you can, if Steam is already installed, you can install Steam on your computer if it is not installed. You can go to Google, type in Steam, install Steam, login. And then over here in the search box, you can type in eFootball 2024 and this is free. So you can try to install it. You can click on install. You will see install or play now. It Then it will start installing. So you can install it from Steam. Now for many users, uh, this has worked. So if nothing is working, you can simply go to Steam and then install it from there. So 
one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. You should be able to install it on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.